Hey guys and welcome back to Mary J's Hauls. So I know it's been a while since I've done a video on this, but I just wanted to do an update on how my FMTs went and if they worked for me. So guys, so there was three different things that I was struggling with, which I was really using the FMTs to solve my chronic idiopathic urticaria or chronic hives. Now, in addition to that, I had a thyroid issue, an autoimmune issue and chronic gastro issues. So chronic constipation. So I do have to say I made it through 10 or close to 10. The 10th one wasn't as great, but after my sixth or seventh one, I did a second flora microbiome test to see if any of the bacteria had started to change. So when I did that, I realized that the my test, my gut test had changed drastically. Like it went from being 55 to my gut health to 66 or something like that. And that bacteria that I was super overgrown in went completely down. Now, once I got to six, my hives definitely started getting better, like infinitely better. And I knew it was a bacterial overgrowth from the start. I kept saying that I think hives are a bacterial overgrowth. And I even asked my doctors, have you ever prescribed any antibiotics for it? And you know, antibiotics for me are not my friend really, but if I could choose those over the steroids, I'm gonna choose the antibiotics 100% of the time. So as I was going to the doctor, showing them my flora chart saying, you know, I'm super overgrown in this bacteria and I think this could be causing my hives. I'm super overgrown in it. None of them wanted to prescribe me um, antibiotics to see if that would help because really with antibiotics and the research is out there, guys, doctors have no idea what antibiotics kill what bacteria. So when they give you an antibiotic for something, I think they're just hoping for the best that it kills the bacteria that you're overgrown in. So, and I'm sure some of you guys have experienced doing different kinds of antibiotics like back to back because whatever problem wasn't solved. So what I ended up doing is doing a bunch more research and I actually found this through a bunch of science studies and it wasn't related to chronic hives whatsoever. It was more so related to um, intestinal permeability. So all of these things kind of go hand in hand with each other from what I've read and realized and I'm actually learning and I truly absolutely know more than any of the doctors I've seen on chronic hives and how to solve chronic hives. So guys, you can take my advice for it. After FMT number six, which I think I did over a span of a couple months, the 10 FMTs, my hives started getting infinitely better. My gut test came back, that bacteria was gone. And what I read was that grapefruit seed extract actually is a natural antibiotic and same with oregano extract. So I was like, let's add them to the cart, let's buy them. So I went to Whole Foods actually because I wanted something that was not only ethically sourced, but I knew that the labels were clean and properly created. And I did that for a couple of days and it genuinely, between the FMTs and that, wiped out my hives. Um, but then my hives started coming back a couple days later, but not nearly as intense. So I do think that the the grapefruit seed extract helped for a couple of days and then I think you need to take yourself off of it because it is a natural antibiotic and you probably don't want to be on it for too long because it is killing different bacteria in your gut. Um, now I did use the oregano extract I think one day, but it was... I bought it more as a topical kind of thing to use with coconut oil to rub on the skin because it is highly antifungal. So what I experienced is that my hives continuously get better and better each day. I am still doing the gut flora microbiome tests um, and I've actually bought a biome test, so one of their competitors, to actually see if I do the fecal matter tests from the same stool if they will come back the same just to see how credible both of them are or maybe none of them are credible all i know is whatever was happening inside my body got infinitely better a month or two after my i started doing the fmts so i don't know if, if i can attribute the success to the fmts all i'm saying is that i had zero side effects from the fmt now i screened my donor and that is a huge part of it all you have to screen your donor um but you know fmts are a, like a miracle drug and I really think that the FDA doesn't want to legalize them yet not only because the long-term effects are truly not known even though China's been using them for centuries um, but in the US it's almost like a miracle drug you know that solves a lot of different things from bipolar disorder to C. diff which is a wide spectrum so you got mental health on there obesity diabetes like so many different things are they're finding out more and more can help to FMTs can help but why don't they regulate it? I mean, that's a question for them, but all I can say is probably big pharma, probably big pharma. So 
if you guys are thinking of considering it, you know, leave a comment below if you guys want to hear more about my experience or there's other videos that you would like me to do uh, based around my FMTs. Once again, guys, comment below. Let me know. So far, I am having very much success. And also make sure to like this video, subscribe, and click the notifications button, guys. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm trying to put this information out there to help other people like me who suffer from these chronic issues um, and to help solve them in a more holistic way. And rather than using a roundabout way with the doctor, it is it's very direct I would say very it's invasive but direct so one thing that I do have to say is because I my hives got infinitely better I started to lower my steroid usage and even though I had been doing it what I thought was slowly based on the fact that I've been on the steroids for almost a year and a higher level of steroids for almost a year in the last few months I tried to lower and I was below 10 milligrams, which is a huge success for me. But once I hit five milligrams, my body shut down. Even though I wasn't getting the hives, wasn't getting coloration of the hives, my gastro issues got so much better. So like constipation was at a minimal and my autoimmune, my ANA got a little bit better too. So I will do a follow-up video showing the charts and how the bacteria differed. And as well as the bacteria that my, the person I borrowed this tool from, and like how that affected my bacteria because it actually legit had a direct effect so it was like even though we did him under two separate accounts which is what we wanted because we wanted total unbiased he was overgrown in a certain bacteria that was anti-inflammatory which is great like that's what you want you want anti-inflammatory he but he was overgrown in it and what i saw was after i started using his stool that level for me was a little bit overgrown but the bacteria that i was extremely overgrown in went almost completely to zero um, and they don't really know what that bacteria does, but in comparison to the American Gut Project, which is a project based on 10,000 healthy Americans or what they consider to be healthy Americans, my bacteria was literally off the charts, like off the charts. And I really did think it was a bacterial overgrowth, which is why I stopped and I did the no sugar diet, like candida cleanses, sulfate free diets, you know, definitely no like additives, no MSG. Um, and for me, one of the biggest helps was what made me start thinking along those lines was when I stopped my probiotic and my hives got infinitely better, but not better to the point where I could get off the medication. So on my journey trying to get off the medication, I hit a bump in the road where I actually could not and I'm still on the medication even though I'm not having hives. And I'm on a much lower dose, so I'm not feeling as much of the side effects, thank God. You can ask my boyfriend, he's saying thanking the God too. Um, so my issue is that you know doctors are like we don't want you on it we don't want you on it we don't want you on it well here's a prescription here's a prescription here's a prescription we still want you to get off of it oh sorry you can't get off of it here's another prescription so guys when your doctors prescribe you steroids just double make sure there's no alternatives to something that could work because steroids i think are truly the nastiest little drugs in the whole world like you get nothing out of them i think men can get a little bit more muscle but women we gain fat from them so it did not, it was, ugh, I hate the steroids, I hate steroids, but so now I am struggling to get off the steroids. So it's like, they don't want you on them to begin with, but they don't mind handing you a prescription for them. And then it's like, you can't get off of them at the end. So I have to do probably like a five month, really slow, gradual cutoff, because what happens is your adrenal gland can't produce cortisol and cortisol is necessary for events that stress you out. So I had a night where I genuinely thought my body was going into shock. Like I was shaking, puking for no reason. Like I didn't eat for four days and I couldn't even think about e eating. And the day that I got very sick was a day that I tried eating and it just instantly, instantly made me so sick. So if you are on the steroids for chronic hives, guys, slow down on the um, weaning off of them. The withdrawal symptoms apparently can be more severe than the prednisone itself syndromes. And the if you go look up prednisone symptoms, it is absolutely, or not symptoms, but side effects. It is outrageous that they can allow this drug to be approved by the FDA, but FMTs can't. So if you are suffering from chronic hives, definitely give FMTs a thought. I mean, talk to your doctors. You might as well go ahead and try the natural grapefruit seed extract or organic natural grapefruit seed extract, as well as oregano oil, because those do help with bacteria. And if you guys are suffering from chronic hives, I would love to send one of you guys a Flore kit on my expense. I will register the kit for you. And once the results come out, you know, I would be able to see if you're overgrown in the same bacteria that I was overgrown in. And if so, 
then we've solved hives, like solved it because we know exactly how to fix it. We know what's causing it, exactly what's causing it, if that's the case. So guys, make sure to comment below. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in. I am happy to do that for you. The Flory kits are about $200. And like I said, this will come out of my own expenses for the sake and the greater good of the chronic urticaria community. Um, so make sure to like this video, subscribe, click the notifications button and comment below. And I will make sure to do a follow-up showing the bacterial growth differences and letting you guys know in a couple of weeks how my hives are going. And like I said, I have none. Like every morning I wake up and it is such a good feeling to have not a single hive on. I can shower in the heat now. I can wear tight clothes again. Whoop, whoop. Um, so it, it's been a huge feat for me overall. And I am very excited to be able to share that with you guys. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.